Welcome back. Well, if you're a big fan of Big Brother 17, well, you probably know who this guy is. Yeah, this is James Hewling. He's here to talk with us about being on Big Brother, the CBS show, the reality show this past summer, and also your connection to this area. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So tell us a little bit about just the summer, crazy summer for you. You were in the house for a good long while. <laughs> Yes, this was an unexpected season. Um, I didn't expect to stay in the house for 98 days. Uh, you know, they had uh, a lot of twists this season, you know, the BB takeover, uh, the twin twist. Um, so it was real, uh, real intense. So, you know, I went in with a strategy and it was like all the stuff Julie Chen was throwing at us. <laughs> um, so all this went out the window and I was like, I just got to be myself and uh, hopefully my personality will carry out throughout the game. So Well, it worked pretty well. And speaking of that personality, we're going to get to, I gave you a little <laughs> forewarning. There was, a, I like to call it a non-love affair. Because <laughs> Meg, Meg was not reciprocating yeah. your, your joking crush on, on her. Yeah. We have a little bit of clip. We're just going to go ahead and watch that for folks who maybe missed it this uh, summer. Oh boy. Hello, Big Brother. Me and Meg want to uh, let the whole world know we are getting engaged. <laughs> We're getting married. <laughs> We're in love. Just <laughs> don't fight it. Get out of here. Good, good job. <laughs> Your lipstick looks luscious. Oh my God. <laughs> Our group that we started out with from day one has all been taken out pretty much. And it's just down to me and Meg in this game. I haven't made a breakthrough yet, but I think Meg has a crush for me, so I'm not giving up. She loves it. I can't stand him! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then she says, I can't stand him! Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's joking, of course. Oh, yeah. But it was yeah. a good time. Uh, you won um, America's favorite house guest. Yeah, I did. Um, you know, that's, that's a huge thing. Like, uh, you know, I, I went into the house, uh, of course, wanting to win the mm -hmm. game, but uh, I'll definitely take America's Favorite Player. I feel like that's uh, might not be winning, right. but it's winning for me. I want to say it's almost like the equivalent to uh, Miss or Mr. Congeniality, but not yeah. really because y y talk about your experience on the show. I understand you played a few pranks. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you got a lot of downtime in the house, yeah. of course, be between mm -hmm. competitions. So it's like, uh, you know, you, you want to do things that keeps your mind uh, focused because you're so in the game. Um, and that was just my way of getting outside of the game, just having fun, lightening up the mood a little bit. Um, and of course, it helped me, uh, you know, get through the game a little bit further because they didn't see me as a, a yeah. real huge threat in, in some aspects. Because me and Meg were the fun, the fun group. Yeah. We were, you know, we were always trying to have fun and, and have summer camp with Austin and the twins and Vanessa and them. So um, it definitely helped us. And that's what that's what made you so likable. Yeah, I promise we're going to get to the reason you're in town in just a moment. But I'm dying to know if you couldn't win, did you have a pick for who you wanted to win? Oh man, uh, oh that's tough. That's uh, definitely people, question. yeah, definitely people from my alliance. Uh, you know, Jackie or Meg or, um, but you know what? At the end of the day, uh, Vanessa and them played a real good yeah. game. She uh, manipulated everybody in the house. <laughs> she was the puppet master this season. So um, you know, when it came down to it, I was going to give my vote to Vanessa oh, if wow. she would have made it to final two. Yeah, right. I just every time you thought somebody had her she would work her way out of a trap. Yes, she did. Anyway. Yes, she did. All right, we're, we're going to move on. Obviously, I was a pretty big fan of the season. You're That's here awesome. to talk a little bit about Terra Hall. Yes. A, a local uh, boys school, right? Yes. Um, uh, originally, I grew up uh, at Terra Hall, home for boys, uh, myself. And, um, you know, it's a good place to grow up. Uh, I was actually there. I finished a two-year program, and I decided to stay there and finish high school at Carver's Bay High School in uh, Pleasant Hill. Um, and as I left, you know, I did National Guard. Um, I uh, branched out and did uh, uh, worked as a retail correctional officer, and then I did a, went on Big Brother. And um, so it's you know they contributed so much to me, and I know that's like my that's my baby, and uh, I would love to give back to Terra Hall. So we did a fundraiser thing for America. We we raised T-shirts, um, and you know all my fans they supported it, bought T-shirts, and. Um, you know, we raised some money, so I would like to, you know, give back to Tara Hall uh, today. So yeah, because it's one thing if you just go on a reality show, but then if you use it for such a bigger cause like that, that's, yes, it's fantastic. I that love you were it. Able I can't wait. That. All right, so I, um, I've pledged to follow you down to Tara Hall later today. So oh, yeah. we're going to get some video. We'll, we'll promise that a little bit later. Okay. Uh, but you just wanted to be able to go back and, and to say thank you for what yes. they've done for you and so many boys in our oh, area. Yeah. It's down in Georgetown County, right? Yes, yes, and I, and you know, with the flooding and everything. 
Um, it couldn't have came at a better time, you know. Mr. Dumb, he has been like a father figure to me, you know. I remember going to high school, like, I need $5 for lunch, and he just reached in his own wallet and get it out himself, you know, oh, out of his fantastic. own personal. So, um, it's very huge, and he does good things for the community. So, um, I, this is just something, a little something that we, you know, I want to give back to him. So. Great, great. Well, yeah. James, we will follow up with you and have your story from Tara Hall later on tomorrow, okay? Thank you all so much. All right, thank you. We'll be right back.